If you've ever used any GIS software, you may be aware that there are tons of different geospatial file formats. So this video is just a little bit of an insight into what these are. So if I bring a browser window over here and just type in GeoJSON and hit enter, we can see the first result on my screen is for geojson.org and it just gives you an example of what this is. It's a format for encoding a variety of geographic data structures. What does that mean? It's just a file format where you can import data into QGIS or other GIS software. So all it is is really just a text file with some geographic information in it. And this one's got some coordinates and it's for the Dinagat Islands in the Philippines. And it can take on many different forms. It could be points, lines, polygons, and so on. So all I'm gonna to do to demonstrate this file format is copy this text, and then I'm gonna paste it into a text editor. I'll paste this just as it is. I'll go to File and Save As. And then I'm gonna save this as example dot geo json and i'm going to change the save as type to all files i've got one in here already and i'm going to save this one as example dot geo json and hit save i'll close the text editor minimize this window and now i'll drag and drop that file that i just created into qgis and we should see a point on the map there we go now if i click on that point with my identify tool, we can see the properties, the Dinagat Islands, and let's zoom to that. Let's zoom right in, and we can see where this is. Now, if we want this data in a different format, and again, this is just for a point, but it could be done with points, lines, or polygons. It's in GeoJSON format, but you'll see on the map, it doesn't look any different, whether it was a shapefile or a geo package or a KML, it will all look the same in QGIS. But if I do want to save this as a shapefile, for example, I can go to right click on the layer, export, and then save features as. And what I'll do is I'll now save this in different formats, and then I'll show you me adding them to QGIS. So the first one I'll save as a geo package, then I'll choose Esri shapefile, and I'll do a couple more. So let's do that now. I'm gonna save this as a geo package. I'll click the browse button. I'll put it in my file formats folder. I'll call this one Dinagat, and I'll hit save. And with the geo package format, you're also gonna get a layer name. You don't need to change it, but I usually, usually I make my layer name, whoops. I usually make my layer name the same as my file name. And I'll click on okay. And because the add saved file to map box is ticked, when I click okay, it will add this geo package to the map. And like I said, it's not gonna look any different, but it's just a different file format. So let's hit the original Example, GeoJSON, right click, export, save features as. Let's save it as an Esri shapefile. I'll click the browse button. I'll call it the same name. I'll click save. I'll click OK. And then we've got that layer in as a shapefile. And if I go to the example file, right click, export, save features as. Let's save this as a KML file, same name again, click on save, and also with KML you get a layer name and a file name, so I usually like to make these the same, it doesn't matter if you do, I'll click OK and then add layers, and if I turn this on and off we can see, whoops, we can see that one, and I'll do one more for those people who have maybe used different GIS software, I'll right click, export, save features as, and this time we'll save using the map info MIF format. I'll click the browse button, enter the name, hit save, 
and then OK. And I'll click Add Layers. And what we see in this case, it gives it a star icon by default. And if I click on it, let me click on the point, there we have the information there. And if I open up the table, I can see it's just got one column, just like the original, called Dinagat Islands. And finally, just notice when you export a layer to a new file format, you will get this green bar at the top of the map canvas in QGIS, and it'll give you a hyperlink which you can click, and that's going to take you to the folder where the files are. If I pull that into screen, we see here we've got the different parts of the shape file. So let me sort this by date modified. We've got the geo package, then we've got one, two, three, four parts which make up the shape file. There's also this CPG file, another sidecar file. We've got the KML. That QMD file is just another kind of sidecar file we don't need to worry about. We've got the MIF file and the MID file. They're the ones from the map info file format. So that's just a little insight into file formats for anyone who's perhaps not super familiar with how these things work. The key thing to know here is if somebody gives you a file in a format you're not familiar with, you don't need to worry because QGIS will be able to load it. And if somebody asks you to provide them with a file in a different format to the one you're used to working in, that's fine too. So if somebody asks you to share your data with them in GeoPackage format, but you didn't have it, or GeoJSON format, but you didn't have it, all you need to do is get the data you have in whatever format it's in, right click, export, hit save features as, and then you can choose whatever format you want. And there's so many here that it's very unlikely you'll ever have a format that QGIS can't handle. So hopefully you find that useful and you will be able to use it in your own work.